The pupils of Waterloo Road need someone who will unite the girls and boys despite the segregated classes. If elected as head pupil, I will set up oh. a... I will set up a weekly school social group and I will... Fight. I will fight for a plasma TV in the common room. <laughs> you forgot a bit about the staff pupil forms. Bum. You get my vote. No, uh, staff can't vote. Oh yeah, but family can. What do we say? Ooh, vote back. Oh, I'm so glad you're my campaign manager. But I don't function without my coffee. There was somebody out with love a boy last night, were we? He's not a boy, actually. He's a man. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Can I meet him soon? Oh my god, I don't want to scare him off. Oh, I won't let him see you in the morning, then. <laughs> Hi, baby. I miss you too. I swear she only saw him last night. Oh, I know. It feels like a million miles away tonight. <coughs> right, where were we? Alright. If elected. If elected, I will ban all behaviour that makes me want to puke. <laughs> vote. Bex. Bex. Vote. Bex. Vote. Bex. Vote. Bex. Vote. Bex. Vote. Oh. So I went to Copper Fuel. Then I realised she had one of those push up bras. <laughs> Not like you, eh, Lauren? Get lost, Wayne. Saddles. You're just jealous, sweetheart. No, don't call me sweetheart. I got some love for you, too, if you want. I think I'd rather die. Will you ever stop whinging? Your ears must be bleeding, mate. Oh, come on, then. It's coming in with me, innit? Over oh, my dead body. What's your problem, Sam? You are, Finn. Come on. If ever a girl needed a good scene to, it's her. What, you're gonna be the one to do it? Oh, I bet she'd be wild. You need a personality transplant first. Ooh, who likes Sam Bucco? Not me. Listen, mate, it's not worth the hassle. Anyway, there's other ways to get your kicks. And they don't answer back. Unless you call a sex line. <laughs> I like them real. Just don't feel like you've got to rush back into things. I'm not going to fly off the handle again if that's what you and Karen are worried about. No, we're not. I just meant... I'll take it easy. We're here to support you if you need it. Thanks. I know how busy you all are, but I really would appreciate your support with the candidates this lunchtime. They've all been working very hard on their hosting speeches. Why do we need a head pupil anyway? It's just another scheme. Let's hope the head pupil's a girl, otherwise it's going to seem like the boys are running this place. Adana, the reason I've organised this mentor scheme for the year 11 and 12 boys is because they need it. Hopefully, by working with local businessmen, it'll inspire them about a career. Not just that they'll want to bunk off from double chemistry. Which will mean they'll want to learn more in school. Why not girls as well? Boys need motivating more. So just chain them to their desks. Oh, come on, guys. Um, I hope I see as many of you as possible at 2.30 in the hall. Thank you very much. Jessica, I was wondering if you fancy trying another date. All right. What if the horrific beating didn't put you off, that is? No. No, it hasn't put me off at all. Think about it. Yes, I will. Great. Okay. We'll talk later. I guess you want to chest out this morning. Oh, really? Got a date then? Well, I'm working on it. Ah, the money's back. Feast your eyes on her. <coughs> Quiet, please. Over. What about this one? See. Look, I said, be quiet. Oh, she's so gay. <laughs> What's that? Dunno. You tell me. <laughs> we don't stand for pornography in this school. Why is that pornography? Don't be clever. I'm not, sir. I want you to tell me why it's rude. Delete it now. Please. It's not mine. Well, whose is it then? My brother's. It's 23. <laughs> You're gonna give him a detention? Well, it's on your phone, so give it to me. What are you gonna do? Push me. Mrs. Fisher's office now. Come on. The rest of you stay here and be quiet until the bell goes. Mr. Clarkson's absolutely right. I won't have pornography in this school. Deleted now.
Do you want another look first? <laughs> it's all gone. Check if you like. Two weeks' detention? What? You don't cheek a teacher like that. Now get off to your class. Thanks, Karen. I would have dealt with it myself, but I just thought you should be aware. Of course. You're a brilliant teacher, Tom. You don't need me or anyone else to back you up. I know, it's just... I trust you. Trust yourself. You won't believe this. No way. That can't be a... And so is. Bex Fisher is a porn star. <laughs> oh, we can make money off this photo. All right, then. Right, Carl. How much money you got on your... What for? I don't think he's a bit young. I'm never too young. You like girls, then? Yeah. Come on, Denzel. Get lost. You hear him, Sharky? You don't want you hanging around like a bog smell. Don't show me any of that filth you don't sweat it then. Shaki's always been a bit of a prude. Uh, what are you doing? You're a brilliant influence, you Finn. What are you teaching him how to fight now? Well, I was just trying to help Sam. Of course you were. Come on, then. You two are rubbish. I think she likes you, really, do. Just shut at you. Never mind, Sharky. If you can't have her, you can always have. Bex Fisher. What? How hard goes that? Ah, Vicky, uh, any chance you can hand out like a few of these on the stairs or something? And Jess, mm -hmm. can you put a few on the notice board? Uh, sorry, I'm going out. I've got a few period. You've seen him, aren't you? Have you met him yet? Oh, as if. Do you know, I'm starting to think he must be really ugly. Or imaginary. Um, I think you will find that he is very real and very sexy. Jess, so why can't we meet him? Because at the risk of sounding like mum, it is a bit weird. Yeah, well, it's not like I've not asked him, OK? He just wants to keep it secret, for now, anyway. Jess. Look, I know what you're going to say, because I've already thought it. He's married. So what if he is? Then you need to get out now. It's too late for that. I've really fallen for him. Oh, Jess. Yeah, but... I think I can trust him. I don't think he'd lie to me. Well, then just get it out in the open, invite him over. If he's got nothing to hide, he's not going to say no, is he? OK. I'll speak to him. You know, you can't take Miss Montoya to a steakhouse. It's not a steakhouse, it's a parilla. It's the same thing. Yeah. All right, all right, I'll think of somewhere else. How long have we got? About uh, 45 minutes. You better make the most of it then, eh? Mm. Babe. What? You're not married, are you? What? No. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. Well, then, will you meet my family? <sighs> Why not? I mean, you're serious about me, aren't you? Of course I am. So then meet them. Show me that I can trust you. Jess. Well, if, if you don't, then I'm going to have to just end it. Well, I don't want to lose you. So will you then? All right then. Yay! OK, well, come round after school. And meet Mummy for tea. No, she's not like that. It's actually pretty cool. And you can meet Harry and Bex too. Can't wait. Miss Montoya. What are you doing here? I've got a class starting. Are you seeing Mr. Clarkson again? What? No. Well, let me just seem pretty certain that you are. I'm not. He asked me out this morning, put me on the spot. I couldn't turn him down flat. Why not? Because it's hard. And 
Charlie's been through a lot. That doesn't sound too hard to me. Unless you want to go out with him. Of course I don't want to go out with him. But we have to keep a cover. I can't risk anyone finding out about us. Girls. I'm fed up with being your dirty little secret. A girl, eh? That figures. <laughs> what are you banging on about? Banging uh, is about alright. I'll vote for ya. Bet all the boys will. Don't want your votes, huh? Just our money. If you've got nothing interesting to say, then bog off. Bex, I need to talk to you in private. Yeah, well, you can to give me our time as well. <laughs> Wayne's found a video of you on the internet. It's a porn film. Oh my god. Oh, this can't be happening. It's on his phone. Has he shown it to anyone? Just Kyle, I think. Listen, you need to do me a favour. You need to get a hold of it. I just, I really need your help here. Well, what, what can I do? Just give me a minute. You need to get hold of that phone. You need to delete it. Whatever it takes. I just, I can't have my family seen that. Okay, I'll try. Don't say a word to anyone about this, okay? Promise. Swear. Oh, I swear to you. You can trust me, okay? Act one, scene one, please. Come on, Finn. Yeah, Finn. Stop wasting our time. Wayne, you've already been to Mrs. Fisher once already. I was backing you up, sir. Hey, let's see that Bex video again. Cost you. Fiver. Well, I've got a quid. Tough titty. Well, no titty in your case. <laughs> Quiet. If Clarkson gets win rate, it's game over. Best get rid. Cheers for your concern, but I'll take the risk. Right. Can anyone tell me the reason that Benedict gives for not wanting to marry? So he can have all the women he likes. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Give me my phone, you muppet! Give me that. Oh, please, Give sir, it to no. me, now. Please, sir. I warned you, I'm confiscating this till the end of the day. You idiot! And if you can't give serious answers, then how about we reread the whole act? Um, sir? I don't understand what this bit means. It's me mum. <laughs> it's too hilarious. <laughs> Turn it off and put it away now. Quién os dijo que entraseis? Ya me habéis dejado los pies señalados. Suelas barnizados con aceite, alacenes, felestales, camas de aquero, para que trabajemos quien a las que vivimos en los chozas de tierra con el pato y los cochados. Ah, que un día no quedamos. Spat with a mystery girl. Sí, sí. Uh oh, I smell dumped. Venga, caja con fios dorados. Who is she anyway? Para llevar. If she's now single, can I meet her? Joke. Seriously, though. Is she someone at Waterloo Road? No. No, she's just some random girl I met at a gig. It sounds like a right nightmare. You're well rid. You won't understand. Uh, what's going on at the back? Jonah's having lady trouble. Shut up. All right, keep your hair on. I'm sure Miss Montoya's broke a few hearts, eh, miss? You loser. Jonah. Jonah, where are you going? Toilet. Sir. I'm really sorry, but I forgot my grandma's in hospital today and I need to talk to my brother about when to visit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's really sad. So can I get my phone back? Well, I tell you what, why don't you give me your brother's number and I'll call him? Oh, I can't remember, it's in my phone. Okay. Honestly, sir, I can do it. What? Right, I don't know how you've done this, way, but you better give me it back. Wait, me! No. Oi, shark it! I told you the boys would be into it. Look at that. Carl Stack sign up first. Yeah, well, let's hope it improves his behaviour. Hey, what's going on? Right! Oh, get up, hey, get up! Now! Chris, give me up, please. Kate! You, you're already on a warning. You me. You stole my phone. Explain. Well, I needed it. What? Nothing. Right. Your office. I'm happy for you to deal with this. My classroom, then. Now.
Is he really okay, do you think? Well, there's one way to find out. Let him stand on his own two feet. I gave you the benefit of the doubt, Wayne. Twice. You got anything to say? Can I go for a pee? Fine. You can talk to Miss Lawal. I doubt that she'll be as tolerant. Nice tits, though. Right, get to the cooler. Now! And I'll be giving this to Mrs. Fisher. Oh, sir. You can't please. Have you actually got anything to say, or is this just a polite form of Tourette's? I'm giving a detention to both of you now. Get out. You don't need to apologise. You handled it very well. Karen. You all right, Tom? Is everything OK? Look, this isn't about me. I'm so sorry to have to show you this, but it's something that you need to see. What is it? I think it's been downloaded off the internet. Understand. Why is she doing that? You need to talk to her. What, what, what would I say? I, I, don't, Karen, I don't... You need to talk to her. Calmly. And get her to explain. No, I don't... I don't want to know about it. You need to talk to her. And you need to listen. Mm. Even mm. if it's stuff that you don't want to hear. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not usually... <laughs> it's just a bit of... You can do this, right? Excuse me, Mr. Budgeon. I need to speak to Bax. Of course, Mrs. Fisher. Can you come to my office, please? What's wrong, Bax? I don't know. Know what it was like. Come on, he's scaring me now. I love you very much, Bex. I love you too. And I want you to know that you can trust me with anything. I know. Whatever it is. No matter how shocking. Please don't ask me. I have to. Please don't. You need to be honest with me. I can't. Whatever this is, we're going to get through it together. I promise. I can't. Since you've been back, I haven't pushed you about where you were, what you were doing. I need the truth now, Bex. OK, let's talk about pornography. Not only is it degrading to women, it supports an industry that is inherently corrupt, compounds damaging stereotypes. They get paid for it, don't they? Some do. Others, young girls, vulnerable, underage, they get sucked in and are exploited in ways you couldn't possibly imagine. I could try. This is not a joke, and your attitude disgusts me. You're just jealous. Excuse me? You're just jealous. <laughs> you might have been cute when you were younger. Yeah. Do I? I'm gonna get your mother in. I wonder if she knows what a sexist pig you really are. No. Please, miss. 
Well, at least there's one woman you seem to respect. I was seeing this guy, you know, the guy you met. Him? But he seems... I'm sorry, darling, I'm listening. We, um, well, it, he, like, filmed us having sex. What, he forced you? No, he didn't. No, he was my boyfriend. I wanted to. I just thought, why not? We did quite a few films together and I just never thought. And then I find out he's got a website and he's using me making money. So I tried to leave him. And he threatens to show you. He says that he'll go around to the house and show you all. And he would have done as well. And I didn't want you seeing me like that. I didn't want you seeing all the things that I'd done. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't want you thinking of me like that, thinking it was some dirty little horrible slut. And I thought you'd hate me. Hate you? What? <laughs> You're my daughter. How could I hate you? Oh, you have no idea. When you went away, I didn't know you were alive or dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. So he said that if I went away with him, he wouldn't show you. I just, I just didn't know what else to do. Where did you go? London. What did you do? I slept, watched TV and... But you were away for nearly two years. I can't even remember. It was like I was numb. I just existed for him. I mean, it was all right. He was kind to me. So. He was abusing you. This is child abuse. You were only 16 years of age. But I did it too. This is not your fault. Do you understand that? None of it. I want him put away. Mum, no, I don't want to go through this again. If you don't deal with this now, this will follow you around for the rest of your life. Look what happened today. I don't care. I don't even want to see him again. Do you really honestly think I want everybody knowing what I've done? Mum, I'm serious. If you go to the police, I swear to God I'll run away again. Fine. If that's what you want to do, you're an adult now. All oh, right, so you're just telling me to go? No, I'm telling you, you have to do what you need to do because, because I can't stop you. But I'm not going to run away. I'm going to go to the police and track him down. And if you want to run, that's fine. If you want to join me, that's up to you. Do what you want. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm sick of watching you mope around. I'm gonna find you a bird. No. Look, I don't want to hear. Oh, I don't want anybody else, right? I need to get back in the pool. Yeah? Plenty more fish in the sea and all that. Look. Girls love power, right? The head pupil is power. Therefore, girls love power. The head pupil. I, Roman, will sacrifice my own chance at victory to help my mate Jonah in his quest for love. <laughs> no, cheers, mate. Boys like you disgust me. Perving on girls all the time. What, I'm paying for it? Because you think you're in your bedroom on your own, nobody's getting hurt. You love it. All the attention. Don't you dare say that! My life's been hell! I've not been able to see my family! You should go back to it. You're pretty talented. You know, it's no wonder you have to sit in your bedroom on your own watching porn, because no real woman would ever want to go near you. 
filthy little slug. You're just like all the rest. Only good for one thing. Stop! <coughs> you deserve to have it chopped off. What's this all about? Oh, that. Are you trying to make some sort of point? Actually, no. And why do you care anyway? Of course I care. Hey, miss, what do you think of Jonah's new picture? Pretty hot, eh? Jonah, can I have a word, please? In my classroom. I need to discuss some coursework with you. I didn't tell him anything. I swear. I'm just tired of jumping every time I see you talking to someone, sweating for every time that Karen wants to see me. I've not done anything wrong, you know. We've got no reason to feel guilty. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I know you feel the same. When I'm with you, I do. But when I'm not, I just feel so wrong. It's because we behave like it's wrong. All this sneaking around and being secret, it's got to stop. What do you mean? From now on, we're going to behave like a real couple. And you're going to invite me over to your house for dinner tonight. Jonah. And I'm going to spend the night. Well, I, I don't know how that's going to work. I mean... Either you start accepting the fact we're having a relationship, or I can't carry on with this. It's Bex Fisher. No. It is, mate. Sick. There's more. Old's more. Get off! You don't need to look at stuff like this. What's wrong with it? It's porn. It's gross, mate. It's too hardcore for wimps like you. You're starting to sound like Wayne, you. So? You can be a sad, pathetic loser who can't talk to girls. How can you find this attractive? Well, so first you're teaching him a fight and now he's showing him porn, Finn. <laughs> Sam, I was... No! Don't even say it. I don't want to hear it, Finn. You don't want to listen to anyone except yourself. You don't even look at it stuff like it stands up. Finn shouldn't be showing you he it. He wasn't! It's exactly what he said. What? You two deserve each other. I feel an apology coming on. Well, how was I supposed to know? Well, he did try and explain. Guess I'll go find him then, yeah? Oi! Oi! Give me your phone. What? Come on! Don't know whether we should be doing this. Oh, so don't. I thought you were a hard nut. This is going too far. Coward. to get him off. <laughs> Bex. Why didn't you tell me? Sit down. Read that chapter. There'll be questions. If you fail them, you're in even deeper trouble than you are already.
Is his mother on her way? I've been doing some digging. She did her honor a few months ago. Just left Wayne and his older brother to fend for themselves. Uh, do we know the circumstances? Apparently, she just ran off with some guy she was seeing. They woke up one morning and she was gone. Is that a father? Never been one around. And what about this brother? Early 20s, works nights. I think he's there, but I just can't raise him on the phone. Probably sleeping. Well, doesn't sound like much fun at home. <laughs> nope. You come to have another go? No. I'm sorry I was wrong. Am I hearing things or did you just say sorry? Yeah. Because I know it wasn't you showing Denzel Paul. Go on, one more time. Don't push it. You really care about him, don't you? He's not a prat like the others. Not yet, anyway. Well, I suppose I just... I didn't think you'd put the effort in. Now you know what a great guy I am. OK. So now it's your turn. What? To say you're sorry. Why should I say sorry? For saying that I don't listen. Well, you don't. I just did. What, for like 30 seconds? How can you say that I don't listen, Finn? Well, where we go, blah, blah, Finn, blah, blah. Finn, I listen blah. to everyone. He's at last, day. Eh? <sighs> I can't bear that you've had to go through all that on your own. That you've had this horrible secret all that time. I didn't know how to tell you. I thought you'd hate me. stupid Bex. I'm so happy that you're back. Whatever you've done. It's all gone wrong now, though, hasn't it? We will get through it. Everyone in the school knows what I have done. They've all seen that photo. They'll get over it, Bex. Mum will sort it out. She can't. No, it's time. <sighs> can't go in there. Right, come on. We're going to get no, home. I can't. I just... I can't. We're gonna have to leave Rochdale again, and I was just so happy. You can be happy well. again, Bex. You're so strong. And I'll be there for you. We'll all be there for you. Please don't leave us again. Finished. And? Pretty brave bloke, not cracking under torture. Those Gestapo geezers aren't lightweights. Good. What's the point of it? You're gonna torture me? Wayne, what you did today was a criminal offence. Not only did you access, you've distributed what counts as child abuse images. We're gonna have to call the police. What? But we have to. Well, I didn't know it was illegal. I'm sure they'll take that into consideration when they talk to you. It's why you were looking at it at all that interests me. Why not? I gather your mum left you. So? What's it got to do with you? I'm just trying to work out why you think it's okay to watch porn. And leer at girls. And why you seem to think they all deserve it. Because maybe they do. You don't like girls much, do you? They're stupid, lying cows. Do you have contact with your mum at all? No. I don't know where she is and I don't care. It's okay to be angry, mate. I'm not. It's okay to be upset. I'm not. It's much better without her. I can do whatever I want. When someone you love betrays you, it's natural to be angry. But it isn't Bex Fisher's fault that your mum left you, is it? Why did she leave me? I don't know. But you need to understand that not every woman you meet is gonna treat you badly. Now, I'm not saying your brother's doing a bad job of looking after you, but I do think you need to spend more time in female company. Now, I realise the segregation here is not ideal. I'm going to see what I can do with the mentor scheme. I haven't signed up. Yeah, we'll, we'll sign you up. Or you're going to need a special kind of mentor. Let me talk to Mr Mead. No, I don't want to. I know it's hard to accept help. But do you want to carry on being the way you are? So angry all the time? Oh, 
Okay, I'll do it. Right. But this doesn't get you out of punishment. And if you say yes, it's because you want to and that you're really going to try. Oh, no. Good. Then we understand each other. You know that book you're reading? Odette, <clears throat> about the wartime spy. She was a woman. What? So you see, girls are just as brave, just as hard as boys, and just as worthy of respect. The girls in these images are underage. And I want to make it very clear to you that if you're looking at them on your mobile or on the internet, it is illegal and you could be in very serious trouble with the police. And perhaps now more than ever, we need a head pupil who will set an example to us all. So without further ado, I'm going to ask Janice to call on our first speaker of the day. Okay, is Bex Fisher here? No, I know <clears throat> I probably look like um, a hypocrite standing here. I've made some terrible mistakes. But I'm not going to run away from them. Because I've learned firsthand how it feels to be used and degraded and looked at. Which is why I'm standing for her pupil. Because no one will work harder to make Waterloo Road a more tolerant, forgiving and respectful place where both boys and girls can feel equally appreciated. Let's face it, you could come to me with practically any problem and I'm not going to be shocked. <laughs> You've shown by your response that this is a school that values and supports its fellow pupils even when mistakes have been made. And once again, you've shown me how proud I am to be head of Waterloo Road. Thank you. No more running. I'll go to the police, OK? Well, you have to admire her courage. Yeah. OK, up next is Jonah Kerber. <laughs> well done. It's amazing. Oh, scary. I just kept looking at you. Um, I'll be back in just a sec, OK? Where were you going? Jess? Thanks for coming. What's up, baby? Well, I've not got a lot of time, but I just needed to ask you a favour. Anything? You know that video you took last night? Been watching it all afternoon. I haven't got any work done. <laughs> well, would you mind deleting it? It's just something happened today at school that's kind of made me really wary. Yeah, you do know I'd never show it anyone, don't you? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'll delete it on one condition. What? I don't have to meet your family tonight. I mean, I will do, just not yet, eh? Okay. But soon, though, yeah? I promise. If you change your mind about deleting it... <laughs> I definitely won't. Right, listen, I've got to go. Some kisses. Leave her alone! Well, alone to you, too. Leave my sister alone! Oh, steady, Beck. Stay away from her! looking good. Stay away from her. Oh, what? Or I'll go police. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. My mum knows everything. You can't blackmail me anymore. Really? Oh, she's 
She's not as good as you, but she'll improve. You go to the police, and I'll post this on the net. One click. Hodge! Hodge, please! Why, Jess? Because I can't have you. What if you did? Would you leave her alone? Would you delete everything? If you came back to me? Do you mean that? Because if you did, I'd never go near Jess again. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Your votes have been counted and verified. And please don't call now because your vote won't get counted and you might be charged. <laughs> so the head pupil is... Bex? Well, I'm sure she didn't expect to win, so I'll look forward to telling her the good news later. Right, go back to your classes, please. Quiet. Sorry you didn't win it, mate. It's no biggie. It's like you said, I was in it for the wrong reasons. John, I can't have a word. Yeah. Let yourself in the back door and don't you dare wear your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> good night, miss. But good night. Karen, have you got a minute? Oh, not really. I've got to get home. Yeah, of course. Um, First thing tomorrow? Well, it's just, um... Oh, headline, quickly. Separating boys and girls isn't working. We've been through all this before. The reason it isn't working is that no one believes in it. You're burying your head in the sands. Everyone can see this. Why can't you? I haven't got time for this. No, me neither. I'm sorry, Karen, but I'm not going to cheerlead a scheme that I don't believe in anymore. You're on your own. Fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, my family needs me. Jessica. I was just going to come and find you. I, I just want to... Hit me first. I was going to say, maybe a date's not such a good idea. <sighs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Haven't we been here before? <laughs> I just think I need to take it one step at a time. I need to concentrate on being a teacher, not a boyfriend. Yeah. And, um, I have to be honest with you, there's someone else. It's only been casual, but we just decided to start seeing each other properly. I hope it all works out for you. Me too. She's not upstairs anyway. What's up? It's my fault. I pushed her too far. It's not your fault, Mum. It is. Mum, look, we'll find out where she is, okay? Harry, you go upstairs and have a look in a, a cupboards and a coat pockets and things. See if there's anything that you can find that might give us a clue. But honestly, 
We'll find out where she is, yeah? I can't go through all this again. If she's gone, it's because she wanted to. I can't force her to come back. <laughs> OK, I'm a bad cook. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't fall for you because of your cooking. No, oh, really? Well, what was it then? See, I think it was that wonky right eye you've got. <laughs> no. What about your tiny ears? Hey, even so, we'd have really good-looking kids. Do you want kids? I mean, not now, but... Yeah, of course. With you. This feels so right. See, that's because it is. I love you. You don't have to say that. I love you too. Say it again. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Where's my sister? Who was that? No one important. Well, cheer up, babe. Got you something to eat. We can't have you looking pale, can we? I knew you'd miss me. I came to say goodbye. So you're just going to shack up with that scumbag? He's changed. Have you heard yourself, Bex? You went back to him because he blackmailed you over a film he made of me. Oh, he's promised me that he will change. And you believe that? 